Mulaka is something akin to Zelda, or maybe a better analogy would be to liken it to one of its clones, Okami. See, Mulaka, like Okami, has spiritual ties to the real world. It's based on the Tarahumara culture and their myths taking place in the northern parts of Mexico. It's definitely unique in its setting and presentation, but also a bit formulaic. Monsters are encroaching upon the land, the gods have granted a young warrior, you, Mulaka, incredible strength to restore peace. There's not much to it. As you can imagine, since I said this game was like Zelda, it's an action game set in a semi-open world. Mulaka starts with his spear, which he can slash or throw. During combat, a meter will fill up to produce an aura exploding finisher. Things don't get too much more complicated than that, which would be fine, but the game throws a lot at you. The biggest gripe I have regarding battles is healing. Throughout the world, you can pick up aloe to craft potions. If you need to heal, you simply take a potion, which begins a small animation of Mulaka dancing, which is cute when exploring, but awful during combat scenarios. What's more, the game will pause when you lose one full chunk of life as your ghost flies away. Again, when you encounter monsters in the open world, it's not a problem to stop, dance, and heal because their numbers are properly spaced. However, most of the game, uh, actually, let me dial things back a bit. Now, most of the game plays out like this. In most areas you travel to, there is a sealed cave wherein a boss lurks. In order to open said cave, you have to scavenge around for crystals. Most of the trials involve sealed combat arenas wherein you have to fight oncoming hordes of monsters. There is a bit of variety in activities though, other than that, including rescuing NPCs from trapped areas or solving puzzles. But again, most of the game is fighting and it's bad. Aside from the heal gripe, there is no lock-on. A reticle appears on a monster which will gravitate your attacks toward it but it doesn't actually lock you onto them. You have a dodge, but it's slight, and since you can't lock on, it's seemingly worthless. I found myself being knocked around like a lifeless doll for a good majority of the latter combat scenarios. There is an upgrade system, but it's mediocre at best. It's frustrating beyond belief, and it saddens me because again, this world is great, or that is to say, the aesthetic is fantastic. It's simple. There's not a lot of detail to the monsters, characters, or environments. Everything is big and chunky, but I like the lack of detail. It's minimalistic and fits with the motif. It's just hard to enjoy with bad mechanics being in battle or platforming around. The first couple hours are fun, but it grinds to a halt right around the end of the second area. Sure, new powers keep things interesting, but for the most part, you'll be pulling out your hair in frustration due to the poor combat balances. Simple patches can probably fix these issues, but as it stands now, Mulaka is only a mild curiosity and one that passes fast. My name is Tristan, and you've been watching Reaction Examiner, where I do my best to create interesting videos to entertain and educate you fine folks. Be sure to subscribe, that helped me out a lot. And if you want to check out more, be sure to read my work over on The Gamer, where I write fun little listicles. You can also drop by my personal website, Game Jerk, where I post other articles and reviews. All these links and more can be found in the description below. Thanks, and see you all next time.